let's talk some video games. Video games. And so No Man's Sky came out about 368 days, I want to say. Wow, Brian's been counting. Yes, yes. To my delight, that came out. I mean, I t- we have, uh, you can scroll back through. I think we talked about it at least five or six times on the show over two-year production cycle when they first announced it to when it came out. I could not have been more excited about that game. I was just all, I was drinking the Kool-Aid. I was just all in there. I was sold. I was like, I'm going to explore space. Yes. It's going to all you, be different. Yes. I'm going to name crazy animals what I want them to be named. Yes. It's going to be unique. You were not yes. the only one either. Every day there was a big huge hype train behind this and then we got the game and i felt like i paid 60 dollars for a 20 dollar game when i first got it and i was very very upset very very upset i believe our score for that one was two and i give two just because it was i don't know i don't know why. maybe i just it gave it big. a two to make myself feel better about buying the game but i it probably didn't even deserve a two when it first came out And that's because a lot of things were left off. They had talked about a whole bunch of things that, hey, you're going to be able to do this. 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 This is this. this." None of it really came to pass. And now, a year later, they have released two patches, and now they've released their third and biggest patch so far. It's called Atlas Rising. And a lot of people are saying, hey, they are delivering on a game that we were promised. You know, this is the the game we were promised. Uh, and we might now be getting it. And so let's let's just delve into things and talk a little bit about what they added with this newest one and some of the other patch updates over the year. So one of my biggest, most annoying things about this game is there was zero story. It really felt like there was nothing. You, you read a couple tablets here and there, nothing really that coherent, really not that great. Well, in this new update, they've released a 30 hour game, 30 hours of gameplay story, which is a full game. And so that makes me think that they did not release a full game last year. So, Mm -hmm. all right. It still makes me upset, but it makes me happy that they're working on. It's a large game too. Yeah. It's large game. 30 hours is a good amount. Um, And so they added 30 hours of story, which is amazing because this is a universe. You can say whatever you want. They had a couple cool looking alien races, but it, it was so expansive that just might as well give us everything give us some something i mean any type of sci-fi opera you know space opera is what i was looking for and i didn't get it and now it seems like i might be getting it so that's that's one good thing um they also have implemented eh, i'm not going to call it a full-on multiplayer but an actual semblance of a multiplayer which was promised to us before launch and then not delivered on and when i say quasi multiplayer apparently you can like talk to people while you're walking around the same planet if you're on the same planet as them and now they don't show up as actual characters if i believe if i remember correctly they just kind of show up as floating orbs because they never really show what you look like in the game Mm. so so but you can finally hey dude there's a plan over here come over here and let's explore together you can you can do that now so if that's what you're into cool it is now there and again it's not quite everything we were promised i don't believe but you know, we're getting better, getting better. Another thing they did was they revamped the quest system. They make it more of a, they give you some more variety, some more depth to the quests that you have to do, which before was just, hey, go to this planet, gather some resources, trade it in, get this these cells to so you can warp to the next galaxy, repeat over and over and over and over. So they're going to add a little more depth to that. You're going to have more purpose. And hopefully with the story, you will get purpose to why you're doing these quests rather than I just feel like going... It, from galaxy to galaxy because that was really the only purpose before was just galaxy hop i mean don't you feel like going or from star galaxy system to galaxy? yeah i mean i do but all right space just final frontier explore yeah okay final frontier um now they've also added a lot of new uh terrains to it they've added a lot of cool additions to the maps because it was very bland i mean you had six planets when it first came out pretty much you, they considered them 14 quadrillion or whatever, 16 quintillion, because, oh, this planet is in a different spacing, but it might be an identical to this planet over here. But they've 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 added more depth to the, what the planets look like. They've also added a terrain um, manipulator. So you can go in and you can kind of change how the terrain looks on some of these planets. You can kind of terraform a planet or two, it sounds like. And so that that actually sounds like a really cool thing. So I can ma- discover a planet, call it, call, call it planet where it's my face, and make it look however I want. Can you make it look I'm like cool our logo, Brian? Uh, I I probably could if I was painted red. With, if paint I was red. talented at all with art, I probably could figure it out. But uh, yeah, I'll paint it red and have a gold stripe on it. How about that? There you go. 
there you go. So, and then they've also, which I was so upset about not really being able to do. Now, I believe this wasn't necessarily in the Atlas uh, patch, but it was on a previous patch. They had hinted at you could join factions or there was warring factions throughout this universe uh, that you could kind of either take sides with or against. And there was supposed to be dog fighting and stuff. And that never really came to fruition. It certainly didn't in the first version of this game. And so this has been added in. And this is one of the, the elements I looked forward to the most i was like i want to join up with the coolest faction we're gonna go take over the universe yo this is gonna be awesome and then i just couldn't do it so they've added that in and that makes me very happy now all these things adding on does this excuse them giving us half a game no not really but it does show me that hey hello games where they were vilified and I don't know. I mean, they were vilified. I, there was a lot of death threats and stuff. None of that is warranted. There should never... I mean, if you're one of those people that's like, oh, I don't like your video game you made. I'm going to threaten your life. You're ridiculous. So, so don't do that. But uh, they, they've they made good on, on promises that they didn't necessarily have to. Because Hell Games could have said, okay... Here's your game. You already bought it. Mosul, there was a lot of refunds, but you already bought the game. We don't really have to do anything. We might want to make a DLC to sell you later and add on, but no. They decided to make these patches, and they made them free for everyone so that they could deliver on what they promised, and I think this is something that they should be commended for because they didn't have to. They really didn't. They could have just folded up, ducked their heads, closed down the studio. Everybody went their separate directions, taking the money that they made, but they said, hey, we have people that are disappointed in what we did, and they're right. We yeah. shortchanged them, and we're going to do what we can to make it right. And that is something that you don't see in almost any industry, any faucet of life. People oftentimes, if they get away with doing something wrong, they're just like, oh, well, hey, I'm out of here. These people said, okay, we did it wrong. We're coming back. We're going to do this right this time, and we're going to give it to well, you, and you're going to get what we promised you. I would say that they 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 didn't have to own the in the sense of the other option you said of – they could just close, close down out their studio. Up. But if they well, wanted to survive as a studio, uh, I think they, they kind of had to. Or yeah. make good. So yeah. that, that's true. They, they were limited on options. Fair enough. Because their reputation chose, was in the tank. They chose that game. the right option. Yeah. And now I'm not saying that I'm going to go and, and just love this game and it's going to be everything I thought it was at first, but I'm going to re-download it. I, I erased this game from my hard drive about a month after I got it because I hadn't played it for three weeks. <laughs> you know, I played it enough to do a review and that was it. I was done. And now I'm going to go back. I'm going to re-download it. I'm, luckily, I'm not going to have to pay for it again because I already bought it. But if you are out there going to pay for it again, I believe it's on PlayStation Network for like uh, $24 or it's on Steam for $24. It's on sale somewhere. So you can get all these patches, this whole great game, hopefully great game, um, for a cheaper price too. So thank you, Hello Games, for being respectable people and doing something that a lot of people don't do. And that's making good on your promises. So I, I just I just want to highlight that and I will give you the benefit of the doubt from now on. Um and uh yeah I'm gonna, maybe I'm gonna jump back just, into some no man's sky. Maybe not pre order for a while though from them. Yeah. Maybe you know yeah, wait, wait until wait reviews in, come out. Yeah. <laughs> wait until game patch make, one. I'll wait for some reviews. I'll wait for some reviews. But yeah so but again, hello game. So that was that was that's it. We're done. I'm done talking.